hi welcome again to money and business blog i hope you're all having a lovely lovely day so today's video is for people who have a fluctuating income and they want to learn how to create a steady savings plan by fluctuating i mean you don't have a fixed salary you don't work in nine to five you work on your own for yourself you could be a freelancer a young creative um, a model you know this month you're making fifty thousand naira and you're unsure where the next job is going to come from or even if you know what the next job will be you don't know how much so in that case how do you say that's what i'm here to help you with but first Note that this video is part two of a five part video series. The first video was on how to save if you earn a low income. So make sure to check that out. The video is in the description box below. And also make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that you won't miss out on more interesting videos like this. If you earn a fluctuating income, your approach to savings has to be completely different from your nine to five counterparts. When you're working in nine to five, you're guaranteed a salary at the end of the month. But when you're working on your own for yourself, then things are a bit unsure, especially when you're still starting out. But one thing is certain, money might not come in, but money will always go out. And you need to make sure that you always have money in the bank. The first thing you need to do is to track your expenses. That is always the first step to saving. You need to know what you're spending your money on and where your money is going to. I do not recommend that you track your expenses manually. You have to use an expense tracking app. And don't worry about that. If you check the description box below, I have a link to my IGTV where I've explored different expense tracking apps and I've picked the best one. So just watch that IGTV video. It's very interesting, very knowledgeable, and you get all the information that you need to track your expenses. Now, when tracking your expenses, you need to be able to differentiate between your necessary expenses and your spend, um, your enjoyment expenses. I'm going to be calling it Lao Lao because, <laughs> yeah, so throughout the duration of this video, I'm going to be calling it your Lao Lao expenses. Anyway, what are your necessary expenses? Food, transportation, things like um, NEPA bill, repairs in the house, your security bills, your water bills. Now, let's say... Um, I've tracked my expenses for two months and I know that um, on average I spend a hundred thousand naira a month and in that hundred thousand naira this is just an example seventy thousand naira is for my necessary expenses and thirty thousand naira is for my lao lao um, expenses seventy times six is four hundred and twenty thousand naira at every given time I should have four hundred and twenty thousand naira in my savings account so that if I have a protracted period a long period where I'm not getting any jobs I will just keep withdrawing the seventy um, thousand naira every month you know and I'll be cool I won't be desperate because when you're when you're desperate you start making a lot of bad decisions but if you already have like your emergency savings somewhere then if you're having like a shortage of jobs you won't be desperate because you still have um, money to take care of yourself. So let me give you an example now, like this is Corona period. Imagine people that are um, event planners, models, ushers, even photographers, like throughout that April and May, they could have had periods where they were just practically at home doing nothing. You know, there's no jobs because people are not moving or maybe you're a travel agent or something. I work in the travel industry and I know how bad it was affected and I know there's some people that, at least I had a salary, but I know there's some people that that um, tra um, independent travel agents and freelance um, travel agents and they would have had like two months of zero money coming in imagine if they had no savings it's just I, ca I can't even imagine how they would have survived they would have racked up a lot of debt during this period so don't scream oh Anne is telling me to save six months worth of expenses it's too much it's not too much it's very necessary and just stay with me i'm going to share you with you some tips on how you can build up your emergency savings to that level if the amount of money you make per job is not certain and the frequency with which you get jobs is equally uncertain then your best approach to saving should be the fixed percentage 
approach. This means deciding on a percentage to save from every single paycheck. So if you get a job of 50,000 Naira, you save that percentage. If you get a job of 1 million Naira, you save that percentage. The end goal is to always have that six months of expenses saved up, as well as money saved up for other things, because you're not just saving to spend, you're not just saving for emergencies, you're also saving to invest in yourself, to make um, financial investments, to make expensive purchases and the likes. Anyway, I recommend 40% to 60%. Yes, that's high, because like I said, you're unsure what your next job will be worth and you're unsure when the next job is going to come so you need to save as much as possible so that if you have a if you say a long period without work you would not go hungry i'm a salary earner i save 50 percent of my salary now that's possible because well i won't say my income is high but it's not low either it's just somewhere in the middle <laughs> it's somewhere in the middle so i can actually completely save 50 percent of my salary but even before i started earning this amount i was saving 50 percent i just like to save because it helps me you know it helps me do a lot of things helps me invest in myself helps me make expensive questions so you need to get on my level now what about our more established freelancers your sure jobs are going to come and you can kind of predict your income every month. Maybe for the past six months, you've been doing an average of 500,000, 50,000, 100,000 Naira a month. So you're at the stage where you know, you're in charge of your, your income. You're not scared, things are not fluctuating. In that case, you need to pay yourself a salary. Yes, you heard me right. You need to pay yourself a salary because you're not a brand. Just imagine you're a company and you go out to source for contracts. Now, whenever you get a contract and your customer pays, then you need to get a commission and the rest of the money needs to go into your business. In this case, your savings. How do you decide on your salary? Your salary should be able to cover all your expenses because in this case, that salary is going to be totally for spending. So both your unnecessary expenses and your lao lao expenses. You could decide, you could think about it like this. Um, if I was working for a company doing the same thing I'm doing, what is the um, average salary I could get? Or you could make a, your salary commission based or achieved KPIs so or maybe a percentage of um, what, whatever a customer pays you. So if you get an invoice of 100,000 Naira, you could say, oh, my salary is going to be 30%, 40%, 60% of whatever, and I'm going to um, save everything. Lastly, what if your money comes in really tiny bits? Say, for example, you're a hairdresser and you make like 5,000 Naira um, every month. So you know on average how much money you're expecting in the month, but the money comes in very tiny bits. So let's say one customer pays you 1,000 Naira now. You now start using calculator. Okay, let me move 300 Naira to my savings account or 600. No, that's going to be really, really, really stressful. So in that case, you need to have a frequency for saving. You could decide to do it every week or every two weeks or at the end of the month. It really depends on you. If you fall into that case, I recommend using automated savings through one of these savings apps. Automated savings in that you decide on the frequency daily, weekly, monthly, and you decide on an amount to be automatically deducted from your account straight into your savings accounts. In Nigeria, we have PDVest, we have CarryWise, we have RiseVest, we have Cashbox, and a host of others that can help you set up automated savings on your account. Now, as part of this series, I'm going to be analyzing these four savings apps that I mentioned, and I'm going to be deciding on the best. So if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, do so now and tap on the notification bell. Also follow me on Instagram so that you'll be notified as soon as that video is ready. However, if you're watching this video from the future, I don't know when the future is because I don't know when I'm going to be uploading that video on YouTube. Just check the description box below. I would have placed the link to that video there. Hi, future subscriber. Thank you for watching. <laughs>
retirement? Do you have health insurance? You're not too young to save for retirement. When it comes to that, the earlier you start, the better. If I start saving 5,000 naira every month from when I'm 21 to when I'm 70, I don't need to do the math to let you know that I will be in a better financial position than someone who started from the age of 40. The earlier you start, the better. And you don't even necessarily have to open a pension account. You could just place the money somewhere, either in a fixed deposit account, or you could buy treasury bills, or you could put it in a low risk investment vehicle. But most importantly, take a tiny percentage from your paycheck to save towards retirement. Health insurance is also very good. I mean, you could make all the money in the world in Nigeria, and a health crisis could just bring you to your knees. You end up spending all of your money on health bills. You don't want that to happen to you, do you? So why don't you just take a small percentage of your money to pay for health insurance? Oh, you're complaining, bills, 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 I have to save, I have to save for pension, I have to save for health insurance. It's not that expensive. Especially health insurance, you could get health insurance for as low as 2,500 naira a month, covering basic illnesses. Generally, for health insurance, the more money you pay, the more um, free services you can get. But I feel like as long as you're paying something towards that every month, then you're doing okay because you're better than someone who has zero. So just analyze your income and decide, have you gotten to a stage where you can actually pay for pension and then pay for health insurance and then you do it. Um, if you follow my Instagram, I'm going to give you tips on how to calculate your pension as if you work a 9 to 5. So if your salary is 100k in a company, there's a way they calculate how much should go to your pension account. If you're a freelancer, you have nobody to calculate that for you. So I'm going to share tips on how you can do that for yourself on my Instagram. But trust me, you do not have to use the you know the standard method. You could decide on something personal for yourself. And you do not actually have to open a pension account. Just need to make sure that you're saving too much retirement. And then for health insurance, there are different companies that have different plans. Just pick one that works for you and be disciplined. Make sure you save for retirement and make sure you have health insurance. Don't let all your hustle go to waste. Not that you hustle when you're young, when you're old, you won't have any money. Or you hustle, you fall sick, and you lose all your hustle. spoken a lot about emergency savings but that is not the only thing you should save for it's just the first thing you should save for so don't think oh there's an end in size once you have six months of emergency savings then you're done oh any money you make is for spending is for and uh, no so when you want to save you still need to divide again so let's say I've started to save 70,000 Naira, I need to decide what percentage of that 70,000 Naira is for emergency and what percentage is for my other, is for other purposes. It really depends on you, just make sure that you're well on your way to having six months of emergency savings in your bank account. No matter how much money you're making, never be content, you can always make more. I mean, Bonner Boy said it's Dangote is still looking for money. So how much more you, you can always make more. The best way to grow your income is to invest in yourself. Investing in yourself will give you more returns than any financial instrument will. And this is what people don't understand. You're ready to buy the latest phone. You're ready to buy the latest gadget. Why don't you tell them to pay for something that will benefit your life? Oh, I don't have money. You start hearing lots of excuses. Why? When you're making the money, you will spend it. And the more money you make, the more money you have to save. Someone who is earning 1 million naira would save a lot more than someone who is earning 200k or 100,000 naira. At every point, ask yourself, am I investing in myself? Am I doing things that will grow my income? This is the end of my video. I've run out of things to say. Please, at this point, if you're not subscribed to my channel, why are you doing this? Why are you a hater? Support your girl. And also, if you really like this video or you learned something or you have feedback for me, just tell me in the comments below. I really want a lot of engagement. You know, tell me areas I can improve on or areas in this video that you really, really liked. 
and also follow me on instagram i put out a lot of content on instagram i'm trying to build a community of young people who want to manage their finances better and grow their business and i'm sure that you want to be a part of that too till next time have a lovely lovely day i'll see you on my channel yes i have placed a hex on this video you're definitely going to be back here bye <laughs>